I'm sure you've often seen this man post in A-Hall, but have you ever wondered just who he is? For this teacher feature, I interviewed Mr. Edmondson on, among other things, his reason for teaching. Why did I decide to teach? Um, well, in general, specifically with Spanish, I've always loved the language and enjoyed the culture and wanted to share with other people and wanted to learn more myself. It's fun to work with the kids. It's fun to try new things, and um, I enjoy what I do. Mr. Edmondson enjoys every aspect of teaching, but there are a few parts that stand out above the rest. Well, there's a lot of favorite parts. I think one I really like is when I work with a group of students and they're really enthusiastic about what we're doing. Or if we get to do something original, like um, just the other day, me and some of the other students got together with a group of ESL students or ESOL students. And I gave them opportunity to connect with uh, native speakers. And the ESL kids got to connect with native speakers of English as well. And so it was exciting for me to do that. When entering Mr. Edmondson's room, one immediately notices the blue and green painted walls. Why are my walls painted? Well, a couple of reasons. One is when students come in, I want them to uh, know immediately they're in a Spanish class with a Latin American environment. And um, I've also read from different surveys, talked to professors and a couple of psychologists, and they say the colors blue and green are two of the more relaxing colors. And so I want the students to come in and be in a relaxing environment. The most important thing, or one of the most important things, is a good teaching environment. That's true for the external environment, but it's also true for the internal environment as well. So what I like to do with the kids, and they fall along really well, I have them for at least a minute every class period close their eyes and just breathe. They're not focused on any particular. Ideally, they're, they're breathing in. They're maybe counting up to 10. Uh, they're focusing their minds, giving their minds an opportunity to relax before hearing new information. Also, in between lectures, I'll have them stand up and do some kind of exercises. They all feel kind of silly, but at the same time, they report back that they enjoy it, that um, they feel more focused or relaxed afterwards. And it's things like that that I really enjoy. Mr. Edmondson, a very fun and innovative teacher with cutting edge teaching philosophies. For this month's teacher feature, this is Corey Brown, LCTV News. In order to get a head start on life, many students join school programs to gain experience. We had Heather Haney take a look inside a group known as FCCLA to learn more. 